We have more information tonight regarding the death of a Bina woman. The Cass County Sheriff's Office reports 34-year-old Thomas Wayne Matthews is in custody in connection with the homicide death of his mother, Joy Marie Matthews. Reporter Sherelle Moore is live in the studio tonight with more details. Sherelle? Thank you, Dennis. Just before the homicide was discovered, Thomas Wayne Matthew also allegedly assaulted several people at a bar in Bina. Right now, police are still trying to put together the details. It's just sh shocking that he, he would do this stuff to, him, to her. Police first received reports of Thomas Wayne Matthews Wednesday night just before 8. Thomas Wayne allegedly assaulted several people outside of the Big Winnie bar and had to be restrained. All of the assault victims at the bar received non-life-threatening injuries. The following morning, Joy Matthews was found dead in her home. After the investigation continued, it was learned that he possibly was uh, involved with uh, homicide at his mother's residence, where he um, um, ultimately has been, he is ultimately in our facility booked on the assault charges. The Ramsey County Medical Examiner's Office has officially ruled Joy Matthews' death as homicide due to multiple stab wounds. Neighbors say Joy was quiet and kept to herself. I've known Joyce for probably 12, 15 years, probably, and she was a good lady. Man, she was a, you never heard anything coming bad from over there. The Cass County Sheriff's Office is unsure what led Thomas Wayne Matthews to allegedly commit the assaults and the homicide. As they collect evidence, they hope some of the mystery will be solved. There's still a lot of, uh, a lot of evidence to analyze uh, that um, will be done by the BCA. Um, still some follow-up with witnesses. Um, th there's just a lot of groundwork to be done yet before uh, you know, the actual formal charges are filed. And according to the Minnesota Department of Corrections, Oh, sorry, Thomas Matthews does have prior convictions dating back to 2005 and 2013. Dennis, back to you. All right, thanks, Sherelle, for that live report tonight. Formal charges will be determined by the Cass County attorney. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.